Hey guys, great day, and it's another day on the showroom with Steve K. This is a different episode entirely, like you all know, what we do on the show is entertainment, comedy, ski, drama, stuff like that, and we do reviews for people, and you can also get your review done. Um, today, it's going to be an interview with a popular guy who you've listened to his music, and um, this guy is known as Baznailed by studio name or artist name, and um, we're going to be bringing him on the showroom with Steve K. Just after the break, we'll be right back. Showroom is TK, and we got someone in the building, Baznell by name. Welcome, Baznell. Welcome. Yeah, so um, we got 10 questions to ask you, and we want you to answer these questions sincerely, um, irrespective of whatsoever. Just answer them very sincere. Okay, so first question is let's get to meet you. All right, my name is Bola Jukolaoli, and my studio name is Baznell. Okay, that's your studio name. Yeah. Okay, that you, when you say studio name, do you mean your artist name? Yeah, my artist name. Okay, so tell us, um, are you single or married? I'm a single guy. You are single. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. Um, so what country? What country are you? Make? Of course, this is Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't need to go into that details. Um, okay. So second question we got for you, Brazil. Um, are you presently in a relationship? No, no, no. no. Okay, so why why aren't you in a relationship? Mm, I don't I don't feel like you know, girls are sometimes funny and I've dealt with them so many times and areas and I've found out that it's best to just keep news and just keep going. Yeah, alright, alright. So you do I, okay. Okay, so can you tell us the dif um the differences between dating and courtship? Dating for me I'm gonna say dating is um the relationship of a guy and a girl. Okay. Or let me say the relationship of a young guy and the young lady. Whereby the relationship can lead to marriage. Okay. Sometimes and most in most cases it may lead to a breakup. Okay. But, okay. Yeah, yeah. For me, that's um decent. That's the. Okay. So the, what about the differences in courtship? In courtship, I'm going to say I don't think there's so much difference in them to put up there. That was like similar. Okay. You think that's similar? similar. All right. All right. If you say so. Okay, um, the first question we got for you um, is, can you tell us about your childhood days and the pains you encountered while growing up? All right, man. my childhood days, <coughs> um, I, um, I faced through different challenges and obstacles, but at the long run, I found out that uh, I could overcome some of the challenges whereby, because I was not thinking so much about them, I just found okay. out that I could go over it um, aging. Okay. And um, number fifth question to go: um, What decision have you ever taken in life that um, you still regret till today? As for me, I'll say this: as since when I've been a child, I'll say there's no mistake I've taken as a young guy that I've regretted. Oh, there's no mistake you've taken yeah. as a young guy that you regretted. Wow, nice. Okay, I say um, number six question. Um, what have you lost? Have you ever lost some money while trying to become financially stable and at the long run? Yeah, and how did you get to manage this um, situation? No, I've not lost money or some to become financially stable. You, you, you've not lost money? I've not been in that condition before. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, and uh, number seven question, right? I think, yeah. So, um, 
What's your conclusion concerning taking risks, generally speaking? <clears throat> concerning taking risks, generally. Uh, for me, I'll say taking risk in business is something mm -hmm. that's worthwhile. Because okay. when you take risks in business and you have the depth or knowledge of um, the business, business you're going to, yeah, yeah, you're going to find out that sometimes you have something to do or you're going to, like, let me say, you're going to, if you have the knowledge of the business you're going to do, okay. I'll tell you that it's best for you to take the risk of that business. Okay. Okay, but what about what, what about okay okay I think I'll equally go with that too because yeah it, you you got it's pretty not nice not having a um, uh, previous knowledge of what you're going into and you just want to double into it because I see some people many a times do stuff like that that they just um pumping some funds you know and at the long run the business will probably come declining or collapsing. You know, and that was probably because they had little or no knowledge about the business yeah. they're going into. So I equally agree with you, business. Yeah. Um, or do, would you prefer us we call you Bolaji? No, business. Okay, you prefer. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. Number eight question. Have you ever been in a depressed state before? Yes, I've been in, de in a depressed state before. Okay, so you once experienced depression. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, and how were you able to manage it? I found out that when I was growing, okay. that is um, over years, I found out that if um, studios, that is if I'm occupied with a lot of work, okay. I'm going to forget about my depression. Oh really? So that's how you were able to overcome okay. your own yeah. depression. So at your end, your busy time, your busy yeah, when you're busy, yeah. that's when you're able to, wow, nice, I see. So, I think, what would you recommend for people, or what would you tell to people out there who face depression? You know, some people do face um, depression on a daily and very regular. Yeah. Yeah, so what, what do you think, what, what do you advise people, how, do you, how could they manage this situation? situation? What's your advice for them? I'm going to tell them that, uh, number one, this, they have to be, uh, they have to find something to do. Okay. Forget about that depression. It's not every time you just have to be thinking on. You know, do you get? So okay. They should just find something to do. If they are if they are occupied in some little things, okay. uh, I think they are going to forget about that depression. So. Okay. So the advice you're giving to depressed people or people who face depression on regular is probably regular or not regular is to get busy and get you something to yeah. So <laughs> I really see. I see. Okay. So um, basically, um. I have number nine question for you. And imagine yourself as a young graduate, okay? Right. So uh, I, you didn't even tell us about that. Are you a graduate? Yeah, I'm a graduate. You're um, a graduate. I'm an undergraduate of Best One International oh, University. Oh, an undergraduate. I'm undergraduate, yeah. Okay. In your final years. In your final, final years. years. All right. I see. So imagine yourself as a graduate now. Right. Now you are undergraduate. Yes. But imagine yourself as a postgraduate or an, uh, as a graduated yes. person. Okay. Um, do you think getting a white collar job? pays better off than starting business? Mm, as for me, I'm going to say um, I will first get a white I don't know about people outside. Okay. But to me, I'm going to say I'll first have to get a white collar job. Okay. That is starting an organization. Then the money I raise. Oh, sorry. You first of all get a white collar job. job. Uh -huh. Maybe in a company or something. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So the money I have the money I get from the company. Okay. I'm gonna use to start a business. Okay. Yeah, the business I know that uh, is going to you bring some income. income. All yeah. right, exactly. all right, I see that. So your advice, generally speaking, right now from right your now, own point of view, yeah. is that you people should start getting people should get started with white collar jobs yes. before going into um, business yes, yes, yes. as a young graduate. Graduate. Yeah. Okay, okay. So um, based now, what's the last thing you'd like to tell to your viewers out there? Yeah, what's the last thing? The like general last statement. You like to tell them you could uh, motivational right, statements. Right, I'm going to tell everyone outside there that okay. they have to find themselves engaged in something doing. They have to um, be strong. They have to be courageous in okay. anything they are doing, and they also have to look forward to anything that they that's the strength of God. I know the strength of God is enough for everyone. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm going to say. All right, all right. So your advice is that people should get engaged, stop being lazy, yeah. and be focused, right? Exactly. Because. Being focused will definitely lead them a great success. Yeah. All right, Biznode. It's a pleasure having you on the show, and we sincerely appreciate your time and effort on the showroom with Steve K. All right, guys. We'll see you in my next videos.
Um, bye.